right, welcome back. We are still feeling the effects of this summer's drought, this time with the area's wildlife. KXY4's Grace Disler is working for you. And Grace, Fish and Wildlife says the deer are dying from an outbreak of blue tongue disease, but why is this happening? Well, Derek, Fish and Wildlife says the deer are coming to stagnant water sources because of the dry conditions, and they're being bit by disease-carrying gnats. Fish and Wildlife says this does happen every fall, but this year is worse. It's been a long, hot summer for these deer, and their water options are limited. But drinking from small, stagnant ponds like this comes with the risk of blue tongue disease. The gnats, the insects that spread this particular virus, they do very well under warm, hot conditions, dry conditions like we have now, because they're congregated around wet areas. And the deer also are congregated around what scarce water there is out there. So they're coming into contact with these insects and getting uh, bitten and then becoming infected with the virus. Deer die from this disease every year, but this year Fish and Wildlife says it's more widespread. This appears to be an exceptional year. We're getting a lot of reports. Fish and Wildlife says this outbreak shouldn't affect hunting season and blue tongue isn't harmful to humans, but hunters should take precautions anyway. Generally speaking, anytime an animal appears ill, we recommend not harvesting that animal, not because this particular virus is infectious to people, it's not, but there are so many other diseases out there that could be harmful to people that we just don't want to take the chance. It's just smarter to harvest a healthy looking animal. Fish and Wildlife says this problem will end on its own, but not until the winter comes. When we get a cold, hard freeze, that usually kills off the majority of the gnats, which are vectoring this disease, and we usually see the disease cease at that point. And Fish and Wildlife says if you see a deer that is looking depressed or it's not moving away or isn't showing normal signs of fear around humans or is foaming at the mouth, it likely has blue tongue disease. Reporting live in Spokane, Grace Ditzler, KXLY 4 News.